The Streets of San Francisco, a Quinn Martin production. Starring Carl Malden. Also starring Michael Douglas. With guest star Martin Sheen. Special guest star Colin Wilcox Horn. Tonight's episode, Betrayed. Thanks for pinch hitting today. Must be the flu. The girls are dropping like flies. <laughs> no kidding, though. You really bailed me out. If you had any class, you'd take me to lunch. Uh, it's tough to get too classy when you got a wife and three kids. How about Dutch at the deli? You're on. <laughs> are you sure that guy you've been seeing won't get bent out of shape if he finds out? You better. Anybody else moves are dead. You, fill that up, just the bills. The rest of you tell us, move away from those windows. Come on, lady, move faster. You open the door, duck squat. You heard me, duck squat. That's fine there, lady, move to the next floor. Come on, move.
Hey, man, this stuff is unreal, you know? Hey, Tonto, you gonna buy something or just stand around with your mouth flapping all day? Oh, come on, man. Don't pull no numbers on me. I'm just waiting for my gig, you dig? Well, wait in your hack, all right? This ain't the public library. Okay, man, okay, don't get hassled. Hey, let's go, old buddy. Right away, sir. hit? Kate Evans. Uh, she was right over here. Over there behind that desk. She started to uh, get up and then she started to move toward him and... Uh, Who moved towards him? Um, Miss Evans, Kate Evans. She, I guess the guy thought she was going to scream or something. He hit her so hard. Mr. So Davis, let me ask you, is it normal for a branch bank like this to be carrying 100,000 on hand? <laughs> no, that's just the point. Never. Except on Thursday. More of a courtesy than anything else, just to cash the payroll checks for our customers. Who knows about that? <laughs> Anybody who banks here, I suppose. Or works here. Well, I don't quite understand that kind of a comment, Inspector. Are you suggesting that one of our employees is involved in this? Mike, check it out. Excuse me. Mr. Davis, you said the man had a green top coat and he put the money in a brown leather case. You didn't see his face, you didn't see his hands. Tell me. What did you notice? Did you notice the way he spoke? Did he have an accent? Accent? No. no. Use any funny phrases? Mm. Oh, well, I don't really think it was important. Go on, go on, it might be. Well, he said something that I hadn't heard since basic training. What was that? Uh, duck squat. <laughs> there was a customer over here trying to slip out, and he told him to duck squat. Duck squat, eh? <laughs> OK. Now, you say he came in through that side door, and how did he go out? The same, the side. All right, Mr. Davis, thank you very much. We'll keep in touch. Climb on the horn to headquarters, have him go through the bank robbery files. And ask him if the phrase duck squat has been used in any job in the last couple of years. Yes, operator, I understand. Yes, I have some change coming. How much is it? Fifteen cents? Well, that's not necessary, but uh, it's very sweet of you. Yes, my name is Catherine Evans, and you can mail it to 3217 Union Street. Yes. Thank you very much. Miss Evans? I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Stephen Keller. I'm an inspector with the police department. If you're feeling up to it, I have a couple of questions I'd like to ask you. I was listening to the radio, and they said that the security guard had been killed. Is that so? Yes. Do you recognize the gunman? No. You're sure? Yes. Why? Well, why did you move towards him during the robbery? To 
did I? Yes. Yes. Yes, I suppose I did. No, uh... No, I don't have any explanation for that, except the doctors say I probably sustained some kind of shock. But you moved towards him before you were hit, ma'am. I'm sorry. This, uh... This really is not my finest hour. Maybe we can continue these questions later. Just have a couple more questions. You don't give up easily, do you? Man's dead. I don't really see how I can. I think the market has really bottomed out, Aideen. Daddy. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I'm just trying to pump your young man to see if I can get a few tips to pass on to those who seem to be systematically destroying my portfolio. <laughs> Lindsay tells me you've uh, turned a profit yourself these last few days. Well... Daddy, you're about as subtle as a sledgehammer. What he's really asking you is if you can support me in the style I'm accustomed to. And the answer is yes. Now that that's finally off your chest, can I get my partner out in the court, please? Well, I thought we might have one drink together. Mm. Sorry about that. He still needs some work on his backhand before he's perfect. Hello, Johnny. Hey, Mike, how you hitting him? Oh, not bad. Not good, but not bad. You know how it is. Listen. Did you see anything out here during that trouble at the bank? Sorry, Mike. I didn't even know anything was going on until the first black and white blew in. You didn't see anything at all during that time? A guy with a, oh, a top coat and a briefcase? Oh, come on, Mike, look around. How many top coats and briefcases go by here in a day? Look, I'm not talking about all day. I'm talking about 10 minutes, 15 minutes the most. Now, he hit that bank at 1 o'clock. He was out in five minutes. That put him on the street around five minutes before 1 and five minutes after. He had on a green coat, and he was carrying a brown leather case. So don't you give me any of that everybody looks alike out here jazz. You really want him bad, don't you? That mean he cashed somebody? Security guard. Oh, Charlie Bates? Oh, no. Why, I've been selling him for... Oh, why, a nice old guy like that. Come on, come on, Johnny, think. 1 o'clock. I don't know, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait a minute. Maybe. What? There was a guy. Came out of the hotel just before the black and white rolled in. And he had a briefcase. But I couldn't swear about Brown. He came out of the hotel? Yeah. Sure, that figures. He could have ducked in the back and come out here. Hey, was he alone or was somebody waiting for him? How did you happen to pick him out? The cabbie. He kept bugging me. A real weirdo. You know, long hair, a real loose end. Cabby, huh? Yeah. The cab was waiting for him with the motor running. Pretty smart. Could have pulled right into traffic as though nothing had happened, right? Right. Name of the cab company. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Golden Gate, I think. Golden yeah. Gate. You know, they got a lot of those ding-dongs driving yeah, for them. they have. Anything else? Uh, no, but Mike, that's not to say he was your man. Maybe not. But it's a start, Johnny. It's a doggone no, good no, start. No, no, wait, Mike. No, 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 Thanks please. A lot. Just uh, nail the crumb for old Charlie. Hi, love. What you doing? Hey. What happened to you? Didn't you get my message? What message? I called your office from the hospital. Hospital? Darling, what happened? The bank was robbed. You're kidding. But wait a minute, you weren't there, were you? Uh, you're supposed to be off today. 
Well, one of the girls was sick. Tom Davis called me to fill in. Tony, I can't believe it. Oh, are you all right? I mean, how did you get hurt? He, um... The man hit me. Oh, no. I'm all right. He killed a guard, though. Oh, my God. Oh, you, you poor darling. You've been through all that? Well, are you, are you sure you're all right? Listen, I'm going to get a hold of Frank Kamer, have him take a look at you and run some tests. Dean, I just came from the hospital. Well, who saw you there? Some intern just out of med school? Listen, darling, you deserve the best, and Frank Kamer is the best. You still look a little shaky to me. I don't need another doctor. I don't need another doctor. I just need you to hold me. Oh, <laughs> all right, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> baby.